Welcome to Morocco. Oh my goodness, I love the belts. <clears throat> I see these too, because I've looked into them on Amazon. Little dancing. Yeah. Oh, look at the little girls. It's cute. See, there's this Kingdom of Morocco. Kingdom of Morocco? Yeah. Kingdom of Morocco. Let's walk back here, baby. They have jazz. Huh? Jazz yeah, back here. And oh. Another guy. Uh, Aladdin? Aladdin. <laughs> the other guy. Isn't he cute? I'm gonna walk back here. It almost makes you want to break out like in a belly dance. Um, the health club that I work at, I've been trying to get them to hire somebody who is like a certified belly dancer so we could have deli belly dancing at the gym. Because I'm telling you, I used to take it when I worked at the YMCA, one of our instructors. Um, used to be a professional belly dancer and then she retired from belly dancing and now she just teaches belly dancing and whew, your waist gets small let's just put it that way so I wish our health club would get it just walking back here I've never had Moroccan food though before don't do that. Don't they cook with like a lot of curry? Yeah. Yeah. Curry and cinnamon. Curry and cinnamon. I don't think the cinnamon would bother me. I think the curry would. And mustard. Mustard wouldn't bother me either. But I don't like curry or however you say it. Q U R R Y. Curry. curry. Oh, these are beautiful. These are beautiful. <laughs> Very tame down version of a bazaar that you've seen over the years. Yes. Dan, my husband, these are $24.99, has spent many times over his military career in our marriage in the Middle East. I won't go into details about it with the military, but he says this is like a, it reminds him a little bit of. Very tame down version of a bazaar. Yeah, very tame down version of a bazaar because. They're um, on top of each other over there. The, the Middle East, when well, he was stationed in the Middle East, and he's been over there quite a few times, um, they would come out to them, is what they would do, and just have an awesome bazaar. That's why I've said in the past, I've gotten some beautiful scarves and just some beautiful, beautiful things. And. Uh, I got a J chess set. Yeah. I got some many things that you can get made because they can make it right there. Yeah. Including the gold and jewelry. For yeah. Pennies on the dollar. Yeah, but we're not. Yeah. Yeah. I've gotten some really beautiful stuff from his tours in the Middle East, but. But. Um, uh, the kind of place you'd want to go to just to get that. I would get stressed when he would go, but like he said, it's not the kind of place you would go to want to get that, but because he went, he took advantage of his tours. But yeah, he said that reminds him a little bit of the Middle East bazaars that he used to go to, but yeah. Yeah, that's a real... But I'm sure the prices are a lot different. Like here, it's probably like really yeah, high, yeah. whereas yeah. over there... It's very cheap. And sometimes they would even trade with him. Oh yeah, you just haggle. So like, they, no, no. they would want like, there was this one little girl who made me a piece of jewelry and Dan wanted to give her something for it and she wanted his American soldier glasses he had sunglasses on and Dan always traveled with a translator and he didn't understand what the little girl wanted until you know, they told him he she wants American soldier sunglasses. So, so I found I had an extra cheap pair I gave her. Yeah, so he he traded with her. A whole cheap pair of five dollar sunglasses. And she was excited. He yeah. said she was like running down the street. You know, American soldier sunglasses. I mean, she was so excited. And Dave got this awesome piece of jewelry handmade by her for me. But yeah, lots of good stories. over. 
before, but we haven't had the opportunity to ever go with him. They changed the layout of this store and how you come in. See? They've totally done it differently. It's just a matter of getting used to it. I don't know. We got he Pokemon stuff. Huh? He likes the Charmander. Charmander socks. Okay. We, we can get in those. Yeah. Gonna get one of the boys a pair of socks. They both like Pokemon though. <laughs> Well, I got two shirts. For yeah, we got two shirts, two shirts for Zachary. We only got one shirt for Brenton, so we need to get Brenton something else. Yeah. It's Pokemon galore. They have all these cute little handbags in here. This is like a little zipper tote bag. It's cute. It's. $24.95. That's a cute little bag. And then they got this one over here. This one's $24.95 too. That's cute. Oh look, it's a little cotton. Move oofu? I don't know what that is. That's nice. They just got these cute little handbags. Oh look at that one. That one's cute, too, guys. The price on it is twenty nine ninety five, huh? All the kimonos are over there. Oh, on the wall. yeah. <laughs> yes. So, guys, when when uh, Dan traveled overseas, he had custom made kimonos. I got two, and then. He got his mom one. You got your mom and sister one, right? And my mom one. Yeah, I know I got two. <laughs> anyway. Just on the shelf. I think you're, you're two, the two I got you, and just one of custom. Yeah. I got, Dan got one for me that came off the shelf, and then he had one specifically designed for me. And it was really weird, because when he brought them home from overseas, they had like these little marks on them. And I said, Dan, they're stained. And he's like, no, that's their signature. It's it's to signify who specifically made that kimono. Instead of like signing their name, they put like a little. They mark it on it. They, 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 they put like a little burn mark on it, but. These feel a little different than the ones you got me. Yeah. They're satin. Yeah. So like mine don't feel like this. These, these are probably similar. 89.95 is for that one. There's the Minnie Mouse outfit. Hello. These are the fighter ones that they actually have to touch. These are very delicate. Yes. Can't touch. This is kind of in this color range. Yes. These are very delicate. It says I don't like mess with my kimono. 
just because yeah but mine's also got stitching and dragon and like I mean these are nice guys these kimonos are nice but like mine have like embroidery on them and like I'm talking about fine stitched artwork but like I said he got them overseas from their country and they're just gorgeous I don't wear them they're just purely for show They got little cute headbands here. Or little headpieces. Look at those. Those are cute. I think those are like the ones who put their hair in the buns. Yep. Just cute. That's pretty little butterfly. That is $16.95. I think we're just gonna keep moving along. I'm just gonna kind of get out of everybody's way. Okay, I'm just gonna walk through here, babe. Just gonna walk through here. Oh, look at these. These are cute. Aren't those cute? Look at them. Those are just so cute. Oh, these are beautiful. These are beautiful. Let me see the back of these. Look. Beautiful, guys. Just gorgeous. Very beautiful. And then back here is the samurai swords. And Dan got to talking to the sales girl. We could be here a while. They're talking um, Japan as far as where he's been and stuff. So they're having a full blown conversation, which is good. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's weird. I don't know if I'd buy that. Please ask for assistance. Okay, these look a little creepy to me. Yes? Those look a little creepy. I don't know. Okay, these are cool. These guys are cool. Yeah. Look at the cute little eyes. Those are pretty. You got more of those little bobble heads. Oh my goodness, look at these. Look how they like twist their head side to side, like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. That is funny. This one's like, yes, honey. Yes, honey. Whatever you say, honey. Yes, honey. <laughs> These little bobbleheads are so cute. Look at the owl. It's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Those are cute. I better go find Danny. He's over here. So pretty. Big, big goldfish carp. Koi. And they're koi, you said? Yeah, they call them koi, but they're basically carp. Carp? Goldfish family. So pretty. Walk up here. These are, look how big that one is. Oh my goodness, I don't even think we can get over the rock. Yep, we did it. Uh, there's even bigger ones over there. We'll come back, but well, we're heading back. Okay. Welcome to America.